Good morning. I want you to think of something. I want to know if anyone has ever been mean to you. Maybe your brother or sister took something of yours. Maybe someone laughed at you. Or maybe someone wouldn't let you play with them. When those things happen, it's really easy for us to get mad or feel sad. Maybe you think you'll never ever talk to or like that person again. You might even want to be mean back so they feel sad too. But that's not going to help anybody. If we choose to stay angry, it weighs really heavy on our hearts. That's why today we are talking about the idea of forgiveness. Forgiveness is about not paying someone back for the mean things that they do. When we can't forgive, we bottle up all of that anger and hurt inside of us. And it doesn't just go away. It builds and it grows until it has really bad effects on our personal well-being. We forgive because to not forgive can cause us harm. The hurt and the anger grows and that can make us suffer. Let's see what that might look like. I have a little experiment to show you. Let's pretend this bag of vinegar is our heart. Clean and pure, right? When others are mean or rude to us, it's like adding this tissue full of baking soda and adding anger to our heart. If we keep our anger locked up without trying to open up our hearts for forgiveness, things can get messy. Instead, when we forgive others, we make the decision to stop being hurt and angry and we try to move on. We don't just tell the other person that everything is okay. We decide in our hearts to let things go. And we can now use that pent up energy for something more positive, like showing love and compassion to others. Let's look at a different experiment. We still have the same angry energy to add, but when we find a way to forgive others, we can use that energy for good. There are other reasons to forgive too. Jesus tells us that we need to forgive. Not only must we forgive, but we may have to do it over and over and over again. In our mission to live a more godly life, we do our best to do what Jesus taught us. God forgave all of our sins through Jesus, and we need to do the same for others. So ask yourself, would it be better to spend your time being angry and ready to explode, or would you like to use that energy for something better. Let's pray together. Dear God, forgiving those who hurt us can be so hard. Help us to extend forgiveness to others, even on days when it's hard, when we're angry, when we're hurt. Even then, give us the strength to forgive just as you forgave us. Amen. Have a great day, St. Andrew.